Is a career in real estate or insurance sales more profitable? I personally know many insurance salespeople and many of them are going out of business because of direct competition from internet sales, among other factors. For some reason, people think they can purchase insurance policies online by simply comparing rates. They buy terrible insurance policies that carry high deductibles and pay little in a claim scenario, all to save $100 bucks in annual premium. The large insurance companies are selling low-quality policies direct to consumers online, and as a result, cutting out their own sales force, who are not employees, but independent contractors in the process. I've had many clients in recent years pick up very lackluster homeowners insurance policies online for, dirt cheap, only to find out in a few short years that they will be 50% or more out of pocket to replace their hail-damaged roof, that their house burned down but the insurance only covers the depreciated value, not replacement cost, and so on. Bad deal. But I digress. Insurance used to be a great business for people who didn't want a corporate career path, that didn't require higher levels of education, and who wanted to be their own boss. All one really had to do was open up a commercial location and follow a marketing plan mostly of direct mail, and watch your business grow over time into a steady and reliable income source. Not anymore. I know an Allstate agent who opened an agency three years ago and is still struggling to pay the rent on his commercial storefront while he awaits his lease to expire so he can close down. In real estate, 20% of all real estate agents do 80% of all transactions, thus you really have to become a top producer if you are going to make real estate sales your primary source of income. For the other 80% of agents, real estate sales is not profitable as it is an expensive business to be in, you are your own boss, and you have to pay all your own expenses whether you make enough sales to cover them or not. And, the trend for using the internet to bypass agents altogether is certainly something to consider. I am not personally concerned that this will put me out of work, but it is certainly going to make it more difficult for new agents to get established. On the other hand, this may be a way for new agents to get established. Dot. Dot. Open a discount brokerage internet only business. Requirements. Decent tech skills, but knowing little or nothing about real estate. With this model, you can actually be in the real estate business and after 10 years, still know very little about real estate because hey, you just get paid to enter a listing into the MLS. Truth is, there is a lot of change and uncertainty going on in both fields, being driven by the internet and a self-service, consumer mentality where everyone seems to believe they are an expert in everything simply because they have a smartphone in their hands. They want to save a few dollars so they can tell all their friends how they too bucked the system, and saved a small fortune, and avoided the need for a competent professional, and damn the consequences if things don't go as planned. This is a cultural phenomenon that I believe may have a pendulum swing the other way as millennials and others start to figure out that their smartphones still can't replace human knowledge, instincts, experience and training. The regulatory environment is also a barrier, not necessarily to entry, but to success. For example, the health insurance market in the U.S. is presently a mess. The pay for the agent, if there is one, is small as noted in another answer. Real estate has its own regulatory challenges which are constantly shifting too. It also really depends on what you consider, profitable. Earnings must be considered in context of the hours spent in the endeavor. It is not uncommon for successful real estate agents to work 60 to 80 hours per week. So if you earn $100,000 after expenses, dividing that by 3,120 hours, 60 hours per week, nets an hourly rate of pay of $32 per hour. Question is, how likely are you to earn enough commissions to net $100,000 or more per year, and what is your opportunity cost in doing so? If you manage to do this, you'll be in the top 10% of all real estate agents, and you'll be working 60 plus hours per week. The income differential between a top 10% agent, and a top 1% agent, is wildly large with top 1% agents earning $1 million or more per year. The top 1% agents I know have wealthy spouses and are therefore extremely well connected, have been in the business for 20 to 30 years or more, or in rare cases, are true rock stars who have managed to establish themselves in a fairly short period of time. 
Hard to tell but I'll pick a side. Insurance sales would be less complicated from my perspective. Realtors can't predict their income the same way an insurance agent is coming into a year. Day one of any year except maybe their first, an insurance agent has residual commissions. If a veteran realtor doesn't sell a single house in a given year they earn zero dollars, in the same scenario a veteran insurance agent could sell zero policies and earn thousands of dollars in renewal-based commissions, in many cases equaling what they earned in the previous year. I've used this in other answers as well, one of the agents I respect very much once told me if you want to make $100,000 selling insurance, you will. The catch is it might take you 2 years or it might take you 10 but eventually your residuals will add up. Could you say that for real estate? Hey, stick with it each sale is getting you closer to an annual, residual income target. I don't think so but please correct me if I'm wrong. So, my point is of course you could be a killer realtor and sell million dollar listings all day and make way more than an insurance agent but from a profitability standpoint if you sell $100,000 worth of real estate each year at 6% you make $6,000 in year 1 and again in year 2 but if you sold $100,000 worth of insurance at 6% which is low, closer to 8-10% to equals good estimate for commission, you would make $6,000 in year 1 and you'd make $6,000 in year 2 plus your year 1 one renewals. In the balance of things if you felt you would enjoy both equally I think eventually an insurance agent is earning more income for fewer hours of work versus a realtor. Sure there are way more elements you could plug in to lean either way but I thought this was a cool question and wanted to take a side. If you like being out and about real estate is obviously an on-site business whereas insurance sales will take place over the phone, especially with regards to personal auto and home product sales. I'd be glad to answer any specific follow-ups. I think this is a great question, especially because to me there are a ton of parallels between what makes a successful realtor and a successful insurance agent.